Uh, I'm Patrick Dawson, lead server engineer for World of Warcraft. My team is responsible for the reliability and stability of the service and Legion launch itself. So talk about what you have to do to prep for a huge expansion like Legion. So my team is being responsible for launch. We need to do a lot of um, testing to make sure that our scalability is going to work. We have a lot of players that come back to the game whenever an expansion comes back. Uh, and we need to be ready for that load. Um, Historically, we haven't been quite as good, but with Legion, we spent a lot of time and effort making sure that we had uh, technologies like dynamic sharding, um, uh, a good launch experience with the Dalaran Teleport, uh, and just allowed a lot of players to play the game in a very uh, performance-heavy way. So talk about, because I don't think people will realize how much effort goes in on the server side of things. I mean, it's, ma it's, ba it's basically what you're paying $15 a month for is that server maintenance. Go into a little detail about the behind the scenes. Sure. Um, so we have... Uh, WoW has evolved a lot over the 12 years that it's been um, running. Um, we've moved from a much more realm-centric uh, infrastructure to more of a cloud-based one where we can utilize more of our resources. Uh, but making that journey takes a tremendous amount of effort, both on the engineering side and the infrastructure side. So we have to spend a tremendous amount of resources going back and retrofitting a lot of the game uh, and how it works, um, while also making sure that we're very sensitive to all the 10 years of content which has already been built, make sure we don't break that. Um, so that effort just takes a lot of power, a lot of man years, and a lot of testing. What's it been like seeing the evolution of technology because well, it's been around for over 10 years, and if you knew then what you knew now or had access to hardware now, uh, now that you didn't have back then, how would it be different? <laughs> well, um, I don't... It's funny because I don't feel like we've ever made a decision, a technical decision for WoW that was really a bad one. But that being said, they're bad now. <laughs> right? It was a good decision at the time that, you know, as technology evolves, just doesn't work as well. Um, you know, we've had our own uh, custom messaging system, which now is, is a solved problem in, in open source land. We have um, our own server infrastructure, which, you know, in a cloud-based world like today with, with OpenStack and various technologies like that, um, we need to start getting on board with that. We need to be more modern. So um, one of the jobs that my team does is uh, keep up with the modernization of World of Warcraft. Uh, and we do want to utilize those new technologies. We do want to use them. It makes a lot of sense for WoW to run in a more cloud-like environment. Now, I have to ask, curiously, what are your thoughts on the private server that was hosting the Vanilla WoW game for a long time? Uh, I, I, that's a business decision, <laughs> business talk. I, I really can't speak to that. Moving forward, how do you stress test a launch as big as Legion? So that's, uh, <laughs> that was a really tough challenge for this expansion. We have an automation team that um, we just formed for uh, Legion. And they do a couple different things. They, they do some client automation to help us with performance there, but also they've done uh, server automation to help us see um, how our servers will handle the stress of, of a launch event. Uh, the tricky part of it is getting the scalability uh, worked out. And we had a really interesting situation with Legion where we had um, a full hardware replacement for our compute nodes for World of Warcraft. And during that time, we had uh, all this hardware just sitting around that we could use as almost a dark region. And we were able to set up a full-scale copy of World of Warcraft that we were able to test against. It's just, it's unprecedented. It's something that we really had a great opportunity to do. And our automation team just knocked it out of the park and helped us find a lot of the problems that we would have been finding on launch day well ahead of time.